Hello, I'm Sarah from Poder. Today, we're going to look at statements and different kinds of questions with the verb be. Be is a super important, but also irregular verb in English. So it doesn't always follow the same patterns that other verbs do. If you want to review the conjugations of be in both the present and the past, we also have a video about that. There should be a link to it right up there. If you want, you can watch it after this one. For today, we'll focus on comparing statement and question word order with be. So first, we'll look at statements, then yes or no questions, WH questions, and then you'll get a chance to do a little practice. First, we'll look at statements with B. Here are a few examples. He is from Mexico. It is difficult. They were good students. So the word order here is subject, the B verb, and then the rest of the sentence. Also keep in mind that it's common to use contractions with B in the present tense. So, he's from Mexico, or it's difficult. In questions with be, we're not going to use the contractions. And to form a yes or no question, the only thing we need to do is switch the subject and the verb. So, the word order will now be verb, subject, and then the rest of the sentence. So instead of, he is from Mexico, we'll say, is he from Mexico? Instead of, it is difficult, is it difficult? And instead of, they were good students, were they good students? We call these yes or no questions because the answers will always be either yes or no. Is he from Mexico? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. One thing to notice here is that there is no helping verb in these questions. So there's no do, no does, no did. That's because be is irregular. So it doesn't follow the same rules that other verbs do. If you want to ask for more information than just a yes or no, you can also add a WH question word to the beginning of the question. We often call these WH questions. So for example, when were they good students? They were good students in college. Why is it difficult? It's difficult because it's irregular. Where is he from? He's from Mexico. And sometimes we'll also need to edit the rest of the question a little bit to make sure it still makes sense. All right, now let's practice. Click pause and put the words in order to make a correct statement or question with B. The answer is, I'm from Ecuador. Are you a cashier? Where was he yesterday? It is good. Nice job. That's it for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.